Hey guys, Cerebral Posse Biker back in. I'm just vaping. So I'm vaping my, uh, what is it? Caramel Cinnamon Roll. Pretty good. Um, so let's talk here. What do I want to talk about? My All right. Tank right now. Dang, I'm going to have to get more liquid. That sucks. So what do I want to talk about? Okay, what I want to talk about, if any of you subs are out there, able or different able, and you're like me, um, obviously I ride a motorcycle, so I'm in the motorcycling. I actually do it. I love it. I love taking long trips. No, I didn't take any long trips this year, really. And that has to do, obviously, with, you know, what's going on with me, my back, and eyes, and also money health-wise. Most of it health-wise. But if you look at some motor vloggers, and you see them talking about bad driving and you see them for instance getting on people on their cell phones here's the thing you should never do is like yeah if you see someone on their cell phone they're not supposed to be on their cell phone they're not supposed to be on their cell phone here not supposed to text and drive the best move on that is just to honk your horn okay that's it if you see them coming across honk your horn pushing the clutch downshift slow down that's the best move after that that's it if the person wants to yell at you and be mad because you honked the horn you just saved your life that's it you don't have to get in a, a road rage it ain't worth it seriously it's not worth it okay so do not pick that habit up do not especially do young teenagers if they're watching your channel you're all you're showing them is like this is okay this is this is fine because this what this person's doing is totally wrong they shouldn't be doing it but what I'm doing next is wrong too but it's okay because I'm mad I get it there's some situations where and I think this is why some of these motor vloggers do this I think they started and legit, this happened to them on accident. They were doing the right thing. coming across their lane. They slow down. They honk the horn. Like, hey, I'm here. And then the person's like, instead of being like, oh, yeah, that's my fault. I didn't see the person. I wasn't paying attention. And being like, well, I, obviously, that person was just letting me know that, hey, I'm here. Don't hit me. And then that person, instead of uh, being like, oh, I'm sorry waving which a lot of times happens to be honest you don't usually get the the flick off but once in a while you'll get the flick off like whatever you're in the wrong you know but i think that's what happens to these guys they're you know they're just riding capturing their rides and their moments of riding their their freedom of riding and i think that happens and then they they capture this this ludicrous argument from this person that just keeps doubling down instead of going you know what you're right I just lost my head you, you just scared me and it freaked me out and it got me mad and I'm sorry and then I, I think they see they get all these clips and then they start doing these like you see that guy run that yellow line you see that and then the next thing you know you see him popping willies the next thing you see him cutting through traffic really fast not lane splitting we're not talking lane splitting we're talking the zigzag through you know freeway traffic and or turn off their buddy's bike at a at a light when it turns green and all these things that they're doing is just it is it's and not anybody safe. that does this and sees this video and gets mad I don't care you know you're in the wrong you cannot put any sensible argument with it you're mad that this guy's coming across not paying attention they're breaking the law you're breaking the law when you're speeding cutting through traffic when you're popping wheelies when you're doing stupid stuff like that you know you're not supposed to do that here in the United States and Canada so you can't get on people for running a red light you can't get on people for being on their cell phones you cannot do that if you're doing stupid stuff and you know people that drive do this stupid stuff not everyone that drives does this stupid stuff, but you know you can't say that because you're just as oh, much as wrong. When you right, get up right, on right, someone, right. you're yelling at them for being on their phone. You're still on the road 
riding. You're not even slowing down. You're still riding straight. And you're yelling at him. You're looking sideways, yelling at him, pointing at your camera, saying, hey, you're going to be on YouTube. Unsafe. So, guys, do not pick this up. Wrong. It's right. Do that. It's not right. It's not safe. Don't do it. So, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, next video I'm going to make about some bikes I think are good for different able people and some beginners. I just wanted to make this video. Like I said, I'm not calling anybody out. I'm not going to name names. Uh, some of these guys are really cool guys. Like, you know, we're human. We're all flawed. I just want you, my subscribers, to know, don't pick up on this. This is a bad be like, well, I got a camera. You don't think they can rip that camera off if they wanted to beat your ass? You don't think for a second that if you, especially if you're like, I got you on YouTube, I'm going to get you. They'll just rip that camera. If you're not an able dude, if you're, if you know, you never know. There's always someone. This is something that was taught to me on my early days when I used to get in a lot of fights. And yeah, I used to be a good fighter. I stopped fighting because it's just, it gets you in a lot of trouble. You know, I would think, do it in the boxing ring, but don't do it in real life. Unless you really have to. Unless it's a, but if you can, just call the cops. But don't do it, okay? There's always someone out there that can beat your ass. That is the truth. I don't care how tough, I don't care how able you think you are, there's always someone out there that can kick your butt. So on that, I just want you guys to know that. Some of that's a rant. Some of it's crazy. I know. But just watch out. There are some good motor vloggers out there. And even the ones that do that kind of stuff, they do do some cool stuff too. So just when you see that, kind of like in your own mind, edit it out and go, okay, that's just stupid. They shouldn't be doing that either. They don't really have a right to, to yell at them. Or you can say, well, I don't see it that way. But I'm just telling you, if you get on a motorcycle, you're just upping your chances of getting in an accident or getting yourself beat up, okay? That's just the truth. You're just asking for trouble because, one, you're on two wheels. They're in four wheels. And no matter if the car is a tiny little Ford Fiesta, they can knock you off your bike quicker than shit no matter how good of a rider you are, and you're done. You're done for the day. So just understand that, okay? All right, you guys... Uh, if I if I don't make another video, which I'm really hoping to, I've been really busy watching my kid clean up. If I don't make another video, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. I say them both. I don't say, care which one you're fine with me. So see you guys. Stay warm and hopefully you have a, a great Christmas. All right, out of here.